All right, everybody, Friday. Let's do a recap of the action of today. Very interesting. First of all, uh, for those of you who received my MMT Trader Report, you know that last night or yesterday I sent out my forecast, which is always better than the street forecast. It's better than all the uh, Wall Street banks. Uh, my forecast for the payroll number was 175K. It came in at 164K. Basically, uh, the important part of that was I said it is going to be weaker than the forecast. The forecast had it coming in anywhere from 193K up to 200K. And don't forget, uh, the ADP payroll number on Wednesday was 204K. So I said 175 uh, it was weaker. And once again, I had that correct call. It, what's important here is the... Um, the deviation from the consensus forecast. So everyone sees the consensus forecast, okay? It, the market reacts in accordance with how much it deviates from that forecast. So we got that, we got that right. I said gold's gonna go up. I said the dollar's gonna go down. The dollar was basically unchanged today. They tried to knock it uh, down at first, then it rallied. Okay, and then um, it ended up about maybe a tenth of a percent higher. So basically no move. So my call from the other day when I said, I think we are peaking in the dollar. By the way, if you look at dollar yen, that is starting to, that is, uh, started to break down, all right? So some of these individual currencies are starting to reflect what I called uh, couple of days ago so we'll see what happens with the dollar but I still think we are very near or at the moment at the point of putting in a top uh, here's another thing I sent out now now originally uh, stock index futures were the Dow futures were down around 80 or 90 points before the opening I sent out an email to MMT trader subscribers saying buy the opening by the opening, okay, and my rationale for that was we have seen a very rapid buildup in bearish sentiment over the last week. The, um, the, the, the down opening was an opportunity. You saw what happened yesterday when they knocked it down almost 400 points and then they turned it around. I said, by the opening, that was a brilliant move for anyone who followed because we opened lower and proceeded to rally um, almost 400 points. Okay, it looks like now we're closing up above with a, with a 300 point plus move. All right, so caught that move. I had people sending me emails, Mike, thank you. I made, I'm making money on this. This is fantastic, we're making money. A lot of this has to do with the correct reading of the zombies. I sent out an email today. You know, one of the things that's going on here uh, which is very, very interesting. Uh, you know, it is something that the Fed, again, they told us they were going to do it last year when they said starting in October last year, they were going to start reducing the size of their balance sheet. And once again, they told us, I always say this, this is an easy game because the policymakers, the people with their hands on the buttons and the levers, they tell you what they're going to do. We just have to sit around and wait for them to tell us. And then we we get positioned and by employing the proper mental game, the money's handed to us. The money is handed to us. Anyway, a lot of zombies, all the zombies, not a lot of them, the zombies are looking now at this uh, pretty significant uh, drop in the Fed's balance sheet. I sent out charts today. By the way, if you want the charts, if you want the emails, if you want to get on board with all this stuff that we're making money, Go to my website, pitbulleconomics.com, and sign up for a 30-day free trial of MMT Trader. You'll see for yourself, I am the only guy in the world who practices an applied approach to MMT. As I said before, there are a lot of academics out there talking about MMT. I'm the only one who has put together an applied approach. That means we apply the principles of MMT to investing and trading. I sent out a very important email, all of you should read it today, talking about uh, the fallacy 
in the understanding, or I should say the lack of understanding when it comes to what they're calling now quantitative tightening. All right, this is the new term that I'm seeing out there. The, the fact that the Fed is reducing the size of the balance sheet, all the zombies think this is a tightening. They're calling it, calling it quantitative tightening. Now, I go into that in depth. I explain that from an MMT, not just from an MMT point of view, but from a, a reality point of view. What actually is happening? Is this, in fact, a tightening or is it not? I talk about that. Very important to understand this because this formulates, this, this really now is going to have a major, major impact on the macro picture. And if you understand it correctly, again, bushels of money are going to be handed to you and taken away from those who do not understand it. All right, so once again, if you want any of that stuff, go to my website, pitbulleconomics.com. Sign up for a 30-day free trial of MMT Trader. I will send you those emails. In the meantime, TGIF, it is Friday. Have a great weekend, everybody. See you back here on Monday. Bye-bye.